Good morning, fourth class. How do you do? I hope you are all doing well. I miss you so much. But this quarantine may constraints. Okay, so today's session it's about here. It's about writing. But before start writing, let's step back a little bit to do a small review about the previous lessons. So, in lesson one, we saw different activities, different activities that kids do, such as clean your room, do chores. I told you that chores is the routine activities that you do it every day. For example, your mom preparing breakfast, she wash dishes, she sweep the floor every day. She do she does these things every day, every day, okay? Exercise, please do exercise every day. Visit with friends, make the bed. Always when we want to sleep, we make the bed. Send a text, send in message. Stay up late, study, but don't stay up late playing PUBG or Free Fire. Or free fire. Stay up late to revise your lessons. Okay, then we move it also to this song. To this song here, we fill it. It's blanks. Then we move it to listen two. In listen two, we saw the difference between WH questions and yes or no questions. We said that WH questions require a lot of details in the answer for example when i ask you what do you do at home i do chores i stay up late i study i make the bed i give detail when i use wh questions we say we we call it wh questions because it starts with wh wh what why when these are w it's each questions then move it to yes or no questions yes or no questions the answer is the answer is very short do you study yes do you does he exercise no you see the difference between wh and the, yes or no the answer is here the answer it's very long has details but the answer here it's very short yes no yes no then we move it also to lesson three in lesson three we saw adverb of frequency adverb of frequency or frequency adverb let me let me show you here the adverb that we saw here never every day regularly sometimes every week weekly it's repeated every week always every morning so these are the adverb of frequency these are the adverb of frequency then we move it here we learn how to ask and answer questions of frequency when do they cook? Never. Never. When does he exercise? Sometimes. When do you study? Always. Here in lesson 4, we learn how to ask and answer questions about frequency. When does Lisa do chores? Sometimes. Then we move it to lesson 5. We did reading, we read this text, it's about activities that kids do. Then we answer, we answer the comprehension questions about this text. So today we will move here to listen, uh, to listen 6. It's about writing. It's about writing. Please, what are you going to do here? After reading this text, 
after repeating reading you have to brainstorm to brainstorm your ideas read the question zoom in on writing complete the idea map about you about you about you for example let's take Ahmed my jobs so plural my jobs s yes, plural my job singular my jobs which mean I have a lot of jobs my jobs I take what is my first job for example Ahmed study this is my first job then visit with friends this is another job yes exercise this is another job these are activities huh do chores for example do chores let's repeat here study visit with friend do chores do chores and make the bed so <coughs> these are the activities or Ahmed job so this chart it help you this chart it help you to brainstorm your idea to organize your ideas okay so what you are going here to do to fill it to complete the chart with the, your jobs your jobs okay what you do then when you complete this what are you going to do to write a small paragraph to write a small paragraph about what you do what is your job write writing time write about your job your job job I'm a kid and I have jobs too I for example I will show you a small paragraph about about this so I'm a kid and I have jobs too I always do chores uh, please remember that you have to choose one choose one of your job choose one and write about it don't write about the four jobs that you write uh, above choose just one just one look I'm a kid I am a kid and I have jobs too I always do chores I clean my room every day and help my mom to sit the table sometimes like this a small paragraph about one just one ah, look at it I choose I choose chores I write about chores I'm kid and I have jobs too I always do chores I clean my room every day as you see here every day always sometimes these are adverb of frequency so as you see here I am investing invest in the unit language invest uh, like French they have this this more invest in English invest the verb invest okay I clean my room every day and help my mom to sit the table sometimes to sit the table to organize the table before eating before eating I will show you an, a picture about sitting the table or shorts activities I'm going to show you a picture about shorts activities okay so these are the this is the shorts activity shorts activities that are repeated every day for example this is the shorts clean 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 your house your mom she cleans your house every day she cleaning she clean in the kitchen she clean in the bedroom she clean in the bathroom she clean the house every day your mom or you wash dishes every day after every meal your mom wash dishes so this this is dishes or try try or dishes wash dishes sweep the floor your mom every day sweeping the floor every day chores chores I told you that chores are the, the activities that are repeated every day 
Feed the pits. Pits, domestic animal. Feed the pits. These are cats, are pits. Take out the trash. This is the trash. Take out the trash every day. Sit the table. This is the sit, sit in the table. To organize the table before eating. Start eating. Make a snack. Make a snack. Préparer un repas. Make a snack. And wash the car. So these are chores activities. Activities that are repeated every day or daily. Yes. So this is today's session. It's about reading a paragraph. Please write a paragraph about one of your job. One. I repeated one of your job. Choose one and write a paragraph about it. That's it. So goodbye, my dear student. I hope you have a nice day.